I have the great privilege of uh, closing out the evening by having an opportunity to say a few words about Andy. Um, I also just, looking out at this crowd, just want to say uh, also, me omek libi, just what a deep, deep sense of gratitude I feel for everyone in this room, for everyone who has brought us to this moment. So thank you, thank you. Um, Andy, there is a midrash, I promise it's a short one. There's a midrash that I love on the beginning of the book of Leviticus. It comes after Moses has led the people of Israel out of Egypt, across the sea, through the wilderness to Mount Sinai and beyond. And when they finally finished building the Mishkan, when they finally finished building the Holy Tabernacle, Moses says to God, am I done yet? <laughs> Can I sit down now? <laughs> And God says to Moses, are you kidding? <laughs> this is just the beginning. Your most important work is ahead. Your most important work is teaching the people how to bring their offerings before me, how to live in relationship with each other and with the divine, how to build a holy community. Now, don't panic. <laughs> this is not my way of letting you know that you have to do another six years as chair. <laughs> Thankfully, you've also given us the gift of recruiting an extraordinarily wise, talented, dedicated person to succeed you. I'm sharing this midrash because it speaks to what you have modeled about the most important work of leadership. Over the last six years, if you'll permit me to extend the metaphor, you have led us out of slavery to annual deficits, <laughs> across the sea of drowning debt, <laughs> through the wilderness of not knowing where our next home would be, to the Sinai of renewed mission and purpose, and through the building of our own Mishkan. But every step of the way, you have reminded us again and again that what matters most is how we live and work in relationship with each other. I asked those who have served with you on our board of trustees to share some of the words that come to mind when they think of you and your leadership. These are just a few of them. Boundless energy, selfless dedication, steadfast commitment, source of inspiration and courage, no matter the difficulty of the challenges we faced, relentlessness, gentleness, modesty, focus, extraordinary patience for listening to others, compassion, consensus building, devotion, love. Andy, you can Sit down now. You can step down now from your role as chair, knowing that this is your legacy to us. You have never led from the place of self-aggrandizement, from the place where you are always right, where flowers never grow. Instead, you have led from and with humility, love, humor, constant self-reflection, unfailing devotion, and tonight, we rejoice in all that has blossomed under your leadership. I know you will continue to embody these qualities as a lawyer, working to make our criminal justice system a little more just, because in the words of Cornell West, justice is what love looks like in public. For your steady and steadying leadership, for your expansive vision and your huge heart, for lifting my own spirits during the hardest of times. One of Andy's great words of wisdom is, new day, new underpants. <laughs> <laughs> I will never be able to thank you enough. <laughs> Sorry, was that bad? <laughs> Uh, 
So I want to close. Um, <laughs> I want to close by presenting you with two gifts. The first is to acknowledge your role in leading Hebrew College to financial stability and sustainability for the first time in so many years. Uh, in recognition of that, we are naming a key leadership position at the college in your honor in perpetuity. Our head of finances will henceforth be known as the Andy Offit Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> And we even have the stationery and business cards to make it real. So, and finally, we have one more surprise for you. Um, long before Andy became chair, when Suzanne was a student in the rabbinical school, um, Andy, you inaugurated a beloved tradition at Hebrew College, the tradition of cake day. At the, <laughs> yeah. At the end of every year of study, each class of students receives a cake. After year one, the cake says R. After year two, R-A. After year three, R-A-B. You get the idea. After year five, the cake says R-A-B-B-I, Rabbi. Or for the cantors, a cake that says H-A-Z-Z-A-N, Chazan. So naturally, in honor of this cherished tradition, and in honor of your really <laughs> devotion, <laughs> devotion to and love for our students, we Hello. present you today with your own C-H-A-I-R exclamation point cake. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, for all you've done and for all you've taught us while you've been doing it, we are forever grateful. <laughs>